What's really going on with Jamie Foxx and Katie Holmes? No one is really sure what the heck is up with Jamie Foxx and Katie Holmes. Are they? Aren't they? Are they sort of but not exclusively? Rumors have been swirling about these two for years. Here's what we've deduced about this extremely under-the-radar relationship. They've been dating for a while. Entertainment Tonight reported that Fox and Holmes first sparked romance rumors in August 2013 when they were spotted dancing together at a charity event, but Fox promptly denied the buzz, pointing out that Colin Powell was dancing at the same party and they weren't hooking up either. A whopping 19 months passed before, in March 2015, Holmes and Fox were spotted together again. As weekly nabbed snaps of the pair holding hands. At the time, a source told the magazine, Jamie is someone she can trust and have fun with. She's getting everything from Jamie that she didn't get with Tom. The source also claimed Fox referred to Holmes as his girl. It's serious. A source told Us Weekly in September 2017 that Fox and Holmes started as a fling, but became the real thing. They wanted to get to know each other and see where things were headed so it could develop in private before they went public, but it's very serious, the insider said, alleging that Holmes is head over heels for the Django Unchained 2012 star. She gushes about how amazing he is, a source told Us Weekly. She says she loves him from the tips of her toes to the top of her head. Their kids have met. Holmes and Fox's relationship is legitimate enough that their kids have reportedly hung out. A witness told Radar Online in January 2016, Katie and Shuri, Cruz and Corinne Fox were all at the honor bar together having a girls' day out. Corinne was so cute with Shuri and the three of them looked like they were having a lot of fun together. In November 2015, a source told Page Six, Katie and Jamie have a fun and playful relationship. Shuri gets along with him super well, too. He doesn't mention her to his friends. Though Fox is reportedly smitten with Holmes, that doesn't mean he's ready to shout his love from the rooftops just yet. Jamie is still not open about his relationship to many of his friends, a source told us weekly. Everyone knows they're together and that he is not seeing other women, but it's still unspoken. They almost got outed by a real housewife. There's probably a good reason Fox keeps quiet about his romance with Holmes, at least in terms of his pals. One of them spilled the beans on the couple and then had to backpedal in a big way. In June 2016, the Real Housewives of Atlanta star Claudia Jordan was a guest on a podcast when she said, Fox is very happy with her. I like that he seems very happy. However, the next day, Jordan told Entertainment Tonight, I have no knowledge of Jamie with Katie at all. I've never seen them together. He's never told me he's dating her. I don't have the knowledge of this being fact. I don't. I misspoke. Right. He doesn't want to tie the knot. Fox doesn't want to be tied down in a legal sense, insiders claim. A source told us weekly that the Oscar winner has no plans to marry Holmes anytime soon. He's been so busy with movies and all of his other businesses that he knows he can't be a good boyfriend to her, but he brings a lot of joy into her life and he's happy with Katie, a source said. He would never want to hurt her. He really cares for her. They're still dating. It's been hard to find that balance, but they're happy and they care about each other a lot. He might be hooking up with other women. One reason Fox may not want to get married is because he may not be done sowing his wild oats with over women just yet. A source told Radar Online in September 2017 that just as Buzz was building about Fox's relationship with Holmes, he was caught hooking up with a Russian mistress. It was really awkward, the source said. Jamie would try on and rush them in and out so nobody would catch him.
It seemed like Katie's world was crumbling when she realized Jamie had been leading a double life. It's amazing how narrowly she had missed Jamie's other woman. The insider added, It's too late to call everything off now that their relationship is out in the open, but if he lies to her one more time, she'll walk. That wasn't the first time Fox was linked to other ladies. In June 2016, photos obtained by Radar Online appeared to show Fox holding hands with a blonde woman who he reportedly took back to his hotel after an event in Miami. This occurred while Holmes was in Canada filming The Candies after Camelot 2017. In September 2017, he was photographed supposedly getting close to Charlize Theron. There may be baby mama drama. Christine Granis, the mother of Fox's daughter, Annalise, reportedly wasn't thrilled about his connection with Holmes. In November 2017, Granis' father told the National Enquirer, via the Daily Mail, Christine and Jamie's relationship has become more tense in the last year because of his other relationships. It makes things more complex, especially considering their daughter is old enough to understand what is going on. Granny's father said his daughter has been single since splitting from Fox and relies on the actor for financial support. Kristen is not necessarily happy the way things are working out. It's difficult for her. There was a time when they talked about being more together than they are, but Jamie's concern was that it would have to be in Europe, Granny's father added. He was talking about France because he didn't want the paparazzi to be there. He wanted more of a private relationship. But it never happened. Jamie doesn't like stepping out in public with Kristen, so he hosts private dinner parties at his Los Angeles mansion. I'm not sure if Katie knows it's happening. The plot thickens. Radar Online reported that less than two weeks after Granny's father spilled the beans, she was spotted at Leonardo DiCaprio's birthday party with Fox. They might have an open relationship. Despite Fox's rumored reputation as a ladies' man, he may not be cheating on Holmes. A source told Radar Online in October 2017 that Fox and Holmes allegedly have an open relationship. He stuck this issue for years, but finally figured it was the right thing to put Katie out of her misery and tell her where she stands, the source claimed. The fact is, Jamie's never going to be a one-woman guy and as much as he digs her, Katie's not marriage material in his eyes. The source added, he wants to keep seeing her and hanging out, but there are other women in his life he's not prepared to give up. Jamie has even encouraged Katie to start seeing other guys if she wants to. Tom Cruise may have played a role in the secrecy. Part of why Holmes and Fox have flown under the radar is because if they didn't, Holmes may have faced legal and financial ramifications under her 2012 divorce settlement with ex-husband Tom Cruise. A source told Radar Online, Katie signed a clause in her quickie divorce settlement that prevents her from embarrassing Tom in various ways by talking about him or Scientology or publicly dating another man for five years after the divorce. She's allowed to date, but she cannot do so in a public fashion, and she's not supposed to let any boyfriend near their daughter, Shuri, the insider claimed. Katie wanted out of the marriage so badly, she agreed to the terms and got $4.8 million in child support, plus another $5 million for herself. If she broke the terms, Holmes would potentially lose that payday. Sources also told the site in September 2017 that Fox and Holmes are planning to meet with Cruz eventually. Their five-year contract drawing to a close means Tom can't hide behind lawyers anymore, an insider told Radar Online. He needs to show Katie the respect of one-on-one -on -one dialogue and work out a regular visitation schedule with Shuri, plus come to terms with the fact she's dating Fox. She wants to go public, but he doesn't. In October 2016, a source told Radar Online that Fox and Holmes actually split briefly because she wanted to make their relationship known to the world. 
Jamie is tired of being pressured by Katie into going public, the source said. He's asked for a few months out and made no promise he'll be available after that. It's heartbreaking for Katie, who would marry him in a heartbeat if he were keen. She's hoping he'll change his mind and come running back, which, to be fair, he's done numerous times before. A source told Hollywood Life that Fox's obsession with privacy upset the former Dawson's Creek star. Not only has she fallen in love with him, but Shuri has too, which makes it more frustrating for Katie, the source said. Jamie has been a big part of their life for a while now and aside from the occasional walk on the beach, the pair have kept their private life private. Katie has made it clear to Jamie that they have nothing to fear and no reason to keep things hush. Katie is proud to be with Jamie and wants to feel free to go out to dinner, the theatre, Disneyland with Shuri, or anywhere they want together 